And as you guys can see, my Hilti tools are accumulating. I have to admit my favorite brand that uh, I own is Hilti and my second favorite brand is Ryobi. I love Hilti tools. Today what we are gonna do is we are gonna test out and take a look at the Hilti brushless half inch impact wrench. All right, so now this thing is actually awesome. I got this a little while ago. I can't believe I haven't done a video on it yet. The specs on the Hilti website are a little crazy. I do not believe that it is as much power as it says it is. And let me get the specs. It might be a mistype on the website, but it, it like, according to this, according to their uh, their app, this on speed one, this has uh, 796 inch pounds of torque. Speed two, it has uh, 1195 inch pounds of torque. And on speed three, it has 1885 inch pounds of torque. Now about 2000 inch pounds of torque, to me that's a little crazy for an impact wrench this size. All right, but we are gonna test that out and we are gonna take a look, look at the other specs really quick and see what this could actually do with the test that I do. Now in the future, my tests are gonna get a little bit more uh, in detail of when it comes to actual nut busting torque. So so yeah, but right now we're, we're gonna test this out and see what this could actually do. Now I cannot, like I said, I cannot believe I actually didn't do a video of this yet. But before we get into this video, I just wanted to talk about Hilti tools in North America. I, uh, for, uh, for the past while, I've been doing a lot of research on Hilti and it turns out that North America actually gets the runt of the tools compared to other countries. Now, other countries already right now, today's date is August 22nd of 2020. They have a lot more and better tools than North America does. Now, they have uh, other countries have multiple, multiple versions of, of tools when America has one version. All right, to give you an example, I'll put post a picture up right, uh, right now. North America only has the hammer drill when it comes to the new brushless uh, version. Other countries have, uh, they have uh, the hammer drill and a drill driver and uh, also 12 volt tools, 36 volt tools. After doing the research, America actually gets the grunt of the tools. Like we don't have that many Hilti tools compared to other countries. Other countries have a good assortment and variety of different versions of a tool, you know, and so it's, so I am working with uh, Hilti to get them imported from, uh, to get them exported from another country and imported here. So right now I'm, I'm working with Hilti to get them imported from Europe. And so, yeah, so I, I seriously want the couple of versions of the tools that we do not have. And I want them for these videos because, and, and they seriously look awesome. I'm going to look at that drill driver, a regular drill driver. That that's awesome. It's their new, I have a feeling that that drill driver is going to act exactly like the hammer drill without the hammer feet, without the hammer feature. If you want to see those videos in the future, because I am making sure I get those tools from Europe, please subscribe to the channel. I will be getting those tools and we'll be doing videos left and right with that. So, but this episode is going to be about the impact wrench. All right, so this is a model number SIW6AT-A22. And it's a half inch anvil. It has a quad LED beam on the front. Now, when it comes to Hilti, their specs are on the bottom. Now, when it comes to RPM, on speed one, it is zero to 1,000 RPM. On speed two, zero to 1,500. On speed three, zero to 2,300. Now, like I said, about uh, 1,885 inch-pounds of torque on speed three seems a little bit extreme. So, but I do want to put that to the test, but I love the design of this. It's pretty unique. And yeah, so like I said, it is speed set. It has three speeds. One, two, and three. So we're gonna put this to the test and see what this could actually do. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so what we are gonna do in this test, we are gonna drive in a four, a six, eight, and a 10 inch timber lock. And we're gonna see on how 
well this actually performs. We will be using a four amp hour battery. Battery is full. There we go. We're gonna do the first one right here. It is on speed three. All right, so let's see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Oh, time it more. Time. Let's do another one right here. Uh, the six inch. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do an eight inch. Ready, go. Skipping a little bit. Ooh. Oop, I drove that in a little too much. Let's see if I can get it out. Alrighty, so I stripped that. Yep, that's stripped. Oh well. We're gonna have to skip the eight inch while we take it out. That's stuck there. All right, then the last is the 10 inch. Let's see what this can do with the 10 inch. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, 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 time. Alrighty, let's do a quick temperature reading. 118, 124, 124 is what I got so far. All right, just keep in mind, you guys, this is like the regular size of an, of an impact driver. All right, so this is not uh, a specialty impact wrench. It's just Hilti's average impact wrench. Now they have more impact wrenches that are extremely crazy powerful but yeah but we're gonna test this out and see it on how well these do on taking this out so unfortunately i cannot take out the eight inch because the eight inch is stuck in there and i i stripped the the bolt head so that's in there permanently all right so we're gonna take these out we're gonna start off with the four inch all right so ready up oh, the battery is at two bars wow Two bars left on the battery. All right, so ready, go.
That is that. And remember, there is no pre-drill, no nothing in these. This is just flat out going raw into the wood by itself. All right, so ready? Go. Success. All right, unfortunately, the last one, because the eight inch is dead in the water. All right, so ready, go. Let's do a final temperature reading. The same, 126. Didn't gain anything, didn't lose, didn't gain heat, lose heat. Oh, I found one spot, found one spot, 133. 133 it got. Alrighty. Nope, just smells like a working motor. No burning, no nothing. Alrighty, so. When it comes to the performance of this, we are gonna have to do versus, versus videos in the future against the other brands with what I got. Now the closest one that I have against this that could actually go in the same class is the Makita. Now the Makita is model number XWT11. Now the ones that I have for, the other ones that I have aren't really, uh, they're in a different class than this specific model of Hilti. You know, but it, it performed well. 133 degrees, you know, with doing those tasks is a little bit uh, much. I wanted it to be a little bit cooler. So I can't wait to use this in the future. I'll work on the house and do other uh, versus videos on this. And so, yeah. So, so yeah, but uh, but I got, the, I believe I ordered this from Home Depot. Yes, I ordered I ordered this from Home Depot. And it, it is it is awesome. You know, it's Hilti, I believe. I think out of all the tools that I have, Hilti is going to be the one that survives the most throughout these tests. They might not be the the, mo the fastest or the most powerful, but in the quality of build, I think Hilti is going to outlast all the other brands. I'm going to end up replacing the other tools during these tests, and Hilti, I'm going to pretty much, I think I'm going to keep the original tools when I originally first bought them. So. Yeah, that that's that, that's Hilti. That's the price. The the quality of the build is unprecedented compared to the other brands, because the type of types of materials that they use, you know, to they don't cut corners, to try to make it a little bit cheaper or the, you you pay for the quality. So so if you found this video entertaining, please like the video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.